the gospel reflection of the day from the congregation of the Daughters of St. Paul. As the day begins, listen, reflect and live the word of God, the best food ever for the storm. Welcome to Thursday of the 11th week in Ordinary Time, the 20th day in the month of June, 2024. Today we reflect about praying as a quality and not quantity. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 6 verse 7 to 15. Jesus said to his disciples, in praying, do not babble like the pagans who think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your father knows what you need before you ask him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive others their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive you. The Gospel of the Lord Beloved in Christ Jesus, in the Gospel of today, Jesus cuts straight to the heart of our prayer lives. It's not about the quantity. It's about the quality. It's about intentions that we have and the disposition we, you know, we take before the eyes of God. We stand exposed in this passage, don't we? How often do our prayers become a frantic checklist of needs, a desperate attempt to convince God to bend to our will? Yet we know very well that it is us who should align our own desires with the will of God for us. The emptiness isn't in the lack of our words, but perhaps in the lack of our authenticity. Are we truly connecting with the divine or simply going through the motions? We pile on the words, hoping quantity will compensate for a lack of genuine connection. Yet, Jesus assures us, the Father already knows our necessities. He knows what we yearn for. He knows our heart's desires. Perhaps the greater challenge lies in our Father itself. Can we truly embrace the universality of this prayer, of this term, our Father? God is not just my father. God is the father of every human being living on this planet earth. Herein lies the true test. Can we move beyond self-centered pleas and uh, enter a communion of love, surrendering to God's will and extending that same grace to others? My sister and brother in Christ Jesus, this short passage by Jesus becomes a profound challenge to you and I. It compels us to see prayer as a conversation, a space of vulnerability and surrender to God's will. But again, do we approach God with the same openness we would, we would a trusted friend? Can we forgive others as readily as we seek forgiveness ourselves? Perhaps true prayer isn't about getting things from God, but about becoming more like God, overflowing with love and compassion. Lord Jesus, 
quiet our restless minds and open our hearts to authentic prayer. May we be instruments of your love, reflecting your forgiveness in all we do. Open our hearts to authentic communication with you that extends to our genuine communication with one another. May our prayers be a reflection of your love in this world through Christ our Lord. Amen. I wish you a grace-filled day. You've been listening to the Gospel Reflection for today from the Congregation of the Daughters of St. Paul. Remember to listen, reflect and live the Word of God, the best food ever for this world.